our game is pretty simple. Um, we program this to evade, evade bugs, and you have to be. It gets faster and faster every second, and until the time reaches zero, you can. Um, yeah, you win, or if you get hit by one of the bugs, you die. And how do there's you, also two how, how do you how do you go from one level to another? Um. Well, well it's, we really it's have just one level, yeah. One but level. it's like um, the thirty-three second game. Yes. Instead, the only one way of beating that. Yeah. The only way to beat the game is to get the time. And it gets harder and harder. Guys, one person at a time talking at once. Okay. All right. Tyler, what were you gonna say? And then uh, Alex, what were you gonna say? The time goes from uh, thirty-three seconds to zero, and uh, if you if you if the ship hits any of the bugs in between that time, then it broadcasts the screen for game over, and uh, the ship switches to an explosion. But if it if the time goes less than one, uh, so time is zero, then you win the game. That's the okay. only way to win. So, how do you get points for this game? How do you? It's practically like it's practically practically like a bunch of different levels because it's like okay, well for five seconds it goes a certain speed. And it switches speed uh -huh. faster and faster. It's like, you get it? Okay, so, all right, show me show me again the, uh, the game. Maximize it. Maximize the screen. It gets really hard. It starts off for five seconds. Yes. It gets faster every time. Does it spawn more bugs as the game continues? No, they go faster. They go no. faster. They, they, you, we set it to, um, Pick its locations, like random locations, every time. Uh, yeah. No, I have no strategy. After the uh, last finishes, we'll show you the game. Oh, you see, yeah, I see how it gets faster. Well, you, you only have one second. Okay. And we also set up a two player. Oh, yes. Oh, you set up two yeah. players? Wow. Yeah. How, how do you do? Yeah, how do you do? Yeah, okay, so basically, okay. when uh, you start the game, to the ramp flag, and then right after you press the two player button, and uh, oh, wow. there's a red ship that comes oh. up. Okay, pause the game right there. Show me the code. That's very yes. interesting. Show me the code how you spawn uh, uh, another player. Where are you moving? So, um, for this, when the green flag is clicked, it starts the whole process of this. So, when the, when the sprite right here, this is all one sprite, uh -huh. when this is clicked, it broadcasts player two. Uh -huh. So for the second ship, when it receives player two, um, right here. Show show us with the mouse because remember you're a screencaster, right? Yeah, I'm trying to find the code for that. Okay, so when I receive player two, it it shows the sprite. Ah, because, okay. Um, it like it, it set the height at first. So when the flag is clicked, it automatically hides. But then when this sprite is clicked, it shows it. So then you can go to two players. Oh, okay. And okay, interesting. And for the... Yeah, you can find for the bugs. For the bugs, we just like... For 32 seconds, we made them move. And every... So, um, it's... Each time there's a... It's an increment in time order. It goes from so, 5 um, to 1. Five. They move to a random spot for five seconds, then for four seconds, then three seconds, then two, and then one second. So okay, so and and why? How, where's the code where it gets faster as the t as the third right minute, here, second right starts here. to end? For uh, this is it shows like when at the beginning it's at five seconds, so it's gonna get to its spot for at five seconds. In five seconds, it's gonna arrive there. Uh -huh. And w when it gets one, it's gonna be like it's gonna take one second to arrive at the location. Except oh, five. Okay, yeah. I see. So I it see. speeds it five times. Right. right. Okay. Very yeah. good. Yeah. I, I I'm seeing some really interesting tweaks to this program. Right. One is the um, enemy, quote unquote, in the game. It's actually being positioned in random places on the uh, on the background, which is good. Secondly, the it has a variable speed. Because if you know, if you can predict where the enemy is going to go at any time, it would make for an interesting game. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I like is that usually you spawn enemies, right? You don't usually spawn players during the game. 
And what you guys did was you actually had it spawn uh, a second player when you click on that button. Um, would it have been too difficult to spawn a second player not superimposed on the first, maybe at, at a random location? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, but we thought about that, but if it spawns at a random location, it might like spawn on a bug, we could kill him. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that'll be a bit so, complicated because yeah. you never, you never know where that starts. Because um, if you know where the player starts, right. then you can kind of strategize where to go at first. Uh -huh. But if the player spawns at random spots, you have no idea where to go. Because okay. you don't know where it is at first. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, so it doesn't matter where player one is on the on the uh, uh, on the stage. It's gonna spawn a second player when you click that sprite anyway, right? Yeah, it's totally sponsored. Hey, we can make it if you want. Well, no, no, I'm just, I'm just asking. That's all. Yeah. So for the for the sprite, it automat right here. It goes to the sprite, so this costume, and it goes automatically to X zero and Y negative 140 right here and it points um, 90 at 90 degrees, degrees okay. and it goes straight up so it always spawns in the same spot okay um guys i defer any questions or comments first to my lab assistant here okay austin do you have any questions or do you have any suggestions um yeah i think from the design standpoint it would okay. be better if they made the drawing as simple as possible that would be the objective it's just to stay very good very good point okay so basically yeah, instead of long you can go. yeah exactly instead of can you can you stay alive for 33 seconds how long can you stay alive right yeah. you guys yeah. you, yeah. you can you imagine doing that yeah for like your second iteration remember keep this version the way it is and then like during the during month. um you know during lows in the, in the class throughout the the next month or so uh, when we're not focusing on Android you can go back to this and do a second second version of it. okay also I, I wanted to say that um, the way we um, um, made the ship go right there, diagonal when it's um, and this is a program right here we make it um, when Show, show oh, with, yeah, the, so. with any any time you want to point to something, make sure that the mouse is over that something you want to you want to explain. Okay. So, um, for the code, this is for the code uh, right here. This is just for the left arrow. So if the left arrow is pressed, it just goes straight. And same thing for the right. Uh -huh. But for right here, uh, I'm gonna go for the up and to the right, it moves at a hundred and hundred and thirty five degree angle. Yeah, that makes so sense, if, right? Yeah, so before that, if I if I disconnect this, it would just it would just go like that. Oh, and I see what you're saying. It wouldn't look smooth. Like okay. If you disconnect that and you go like that, it's a smooth way to play. Okay. Yeah. So what you're saying is you figured out a way for it to go in oblique in an oblique direction instead of gliding along an ob oblique line actually having the front part of the of the uh what is that a rocket yeah, yeah. Uh, having the front part of the rocket actually point in the direction of that oblique line okay so that, and, and that, show uh, kind of point to the code again um, point okay oh yeah okay good so no matter what you do it would uh for the ship standpoint it will it uh, looks smooth. Right. Us. Okay. And good. we have to do it four different times, you know. So when it goes like down and left, down and left, it goes three three hundred and fifteen degrees. Up and left, it's forty five. Different. And also so we for this, put the angles for everyone. For the second player, instead of using the arrow keys, we use W A S D. We just like replace the right arrow with a D for the codes. The up arrow was uh, W, the left arrow was A, and the down arrow was A. That's for player two, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty standard. We just it has the same, yeah. same properties of the first one, just with a different one. Okay, controls. good. Alrighty, I, I like the game. It has a lot of promise. Uh, make sure that you 
in the future implement some of the suggestions. Does anyone have any questions or comments about this game? Questions or comments, guys? Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. oh, this? No, that was just what your package was you wanted to send me. Yeah, so. It was a modified ID. If there are like a bunch of codes, the main one that we had it was uh, right here as a code for shooting. So if we wanted to maybe do a, a remix of the game after, so for this, if uh, we disconnected this in the beginning, this, this it might have been like a little unfair. Right. If one of you guys space bar. You have to connect this up. So. Yeah, well, we disconnected it. All right, yeah, like, go, go ahead and undo that. Because you, I don't want, I don't want this version to be. Um, yeah, but if you want, if you wanted to, we can go when the space bar is pressed, then um, it, we can shoot. Right. And that was our original idea, but to make it a little more interesting, we purchased the dollars. Okay. But the shooting can be in like a, a second game. Right. Like now that we know how to use the codes. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Um, what were some some difficulties you encountered, and how did you resolve them? You already mentioned one. Instead of gliding at an oblique angle, you're actually pointing the um, the ship in that oblique angle, right? Well, to uh, move the bugs, we had uh, to find out, and it took us like two days. Uh huh. Like to get the code for the landing code. Oh, okay. We were at first we put in each code, like to move to this spot and that spot. Then we had a better idea like landing. Right. You never know where to go. And uh, another difficulty was. Quebec missing. Uh, going to France for a week? <laughs> yeah, yeah, going to have fun in France. I hope it was worth um, it. We left his buddies working on the game. So, yeah, so that was a, a little problem. Your talents were sorely missed. Okay. But he, he, he gave us most of the codes like for the moving. Not two player. Okay. Yeah, for, like real, for the two player and all the codes for that. No, he didn't. Okay. All right, let me say, guys, very good, very good presentation, guys. Good game, good start. Um, and this is not the last time we're going to see this. I want to see uh, a second version of this, a second final version, if you want to call it, uh, with some of the improvements that or suggestions that people made, okay? All right, Alt-P.